Welcome to my scrap space. It's Charmaine with a video post for Coco Daisy. I've made a few videos before about my scrap space so hopefully this is just going to be a quick rundown of some things that are new. This was a drinking glass holder that was Dave's grandma's. She used to live on the sideboard next to their dining table. I bought the milk bottles from somewhere like a two dollar shop and they fitted perfectly in so I filled that up with buttons and that lives there on the shelf. The shelving system Dave put in I want to say it was a couple of years ago but I don't think that it was that long ago and that houses some knickknacks and bits and pieces. Then next to that is a magazine rack from Ikea and that houses my card stock. Um, if I was worried about the cardstock bending I could actually pull the pile of cardstock out and turn it 90 degrees and pop it back in but I'm not worried about that. Underneath that is a cutlery organiser also from Ikea and in that I store my Dymo tapes, Dymo uh, labellers, my Xyron, some staplers, my heat gun and some more scissors and then under that's a desk and on that desk is my sewing machine and my silhouette and if I want to use my silhouette I could push the sewing machine out of the way and swing my silhouette round and I could use that. Then over to my desk and I try to keep out things that I will use most often so I have always set up my trusty and old, well-loved Bob the Builder cup. Always has an inch of water and some paintbrushes. Next to that is a pen holder that Megan made at school in woodwork. My dilutions and some glue and double-sided tape. Then I have a couple of storage systems that have bits and pieces that I use a fair bit. Then I have a tub of, well in this tub, date stamps and some old gift cards that I use to swipe paint with. I also have an acrylic block, my ink and a paper towel to wipe my date stamps on. Behind that are my most used stamps, so the ones that I go to the most just, uh, live in that container. And then here are a tub of die cuts that I've cut with the silhouette. And next to here is another IKEA purchase. I think it was a like a filing um, paper rack type thing. I store my watercolour paints, my cutter and long arm stapler. These two tubs, I'm not quite sure what they were, I bought them at a recycle shop and they both of those hold my flare which is organized by manufacturer then I have my dye my labeler and a pencil case with textures and on top my paint brushes and foam brushes and palette knives as well as my mixed media mediums thread pins and resin flowers then I have some tubs that have thickers. I have this basket which contains the newest, newest to me, uh, thickers and letter stickers, a tub which has my newest uh, pattern papers and then a couple of tubs with my newer embellishments so that I go there first because I know I'll be inspired by those um, more often than not. I then in front of those have one of these lovely 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 trolleys. I have a big tub of paint and I've put it in a tub so that I can actually pull out the tub and put something else in there if I wanted to relocate the trolley. And then the next level up is a tub of brads and then the tub on top again holds embellishments and bits and pieces that I will go to first. Then in front I have these 
which are also from IKEA, which I think were you were meant to be for um, food scraps or recycled bits and pieces. And I have two of these on the trolley. This one holds baby wipes and paper towel, and this one sits closest to my desk for obvious reasons, messy hands. Then this one is full of the punches that I use the most. Then behind my desk, I have two tea trolleys which I've inherited, and this one on top I have a tray of for sequins, a tray for chipboard buttons and paper clips and other buttons. I have a recipe card holder for my Project Life Day in the Life cards. Then I have a, another uh, basket which was actually from a fridge and that holds some miscellaneous um, file cards, index cards. Then on this side I have a peg basket which has my washi tape. So this is my first go-to for washi tape. I have another drawer which I've shown before um, but this is an easier system for me. I did have something set up on my desk but I found it took up too much room so I put them into this peg basket and they sit here. Then I have a wooden milk crate which is full of wood veneer. Um, again I try to keep it in manufacturer and then another tub which has embellishments and then on top of this bookcase is my typewriter which has paper in it um, all the time and then also new from IKEA and that houses well my albums some of my albums and other bits and pieces and then on top I have just bits and pieces that I like. I like to have this space with things that I are, are, that I'm inspired by, or things that um, are family orientated, so that you know inspires the heart as well as the mind. So there you go. I think that's everything. This is my little scrap space so thanks for dropping by and i'll see you at coco daisy